Hey everybody, Michael Broning here. Uh, I'm working on some horn tracks and wanted to make this video to show you how to create groups. Uh, groups for different individual instruments and groups for effects. Um, if you watched the previous video, I showed you how to uh, send everything to a dedicated bus so you have some volume control over the entire section. Uh, but in this particular case, uh, I want to have separate control over the different instruments. And you might not be working with horn parts, but you might have a situation where you want everything in the same bus, but there's individual parts that you want grouped separately. So that's what I'm going to show you here. Um, we're going to start uh, just with volume. So uh, here we have uh, three trumpets. We're going to highlight all three, go to the volume, right click, group, and we'll just send this to A. And now we've created a separate group for the trumpet. We'll do the same thing with the other instruments. We have trombones, volume, right click, group, do B. Same thing with the saxophones, right click, group, C. You can pick whatever group you want. Um, and here we have the last saxophone section. We'll do D. So now everything within this bus that has uh, a you know, individual instruments are now grouped separately. So I have separate control over the instruments within this. So now next what we're going to do is uh, send, uh, give it a reverb and a delay. Uh, for this particular thing, you can choose to do it however you want. I'm going to leave them all with the same verb and the same setting for the verbs. We'll have different volume control, but I'm not going to go. I may choose to to group them different, add more verb for, for one than the other, but in this particular case, I think you're, you're pretty safe to just use the same reverb and delay setting for everything. So there is a way to do this. When you have large groups, uh, sometimes you had to go through and just individually add, 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 add. It, was, it took forever, but there's a way to do this very quickly. And what you want to do, well, first off, um, you go to your bus section. I've created a reverb bus. Um, right here I just have a Waves IR1 reverb. You can choose whatever verb you like. Um, and I created a delay bus. This also is a Waves. Um, so I have a reverb and delay bus. So what we're going to do is highlight all of these again. And then this is the important part. You want to hold down on the control button. Insert send reverb. Now, all of the tracks here have reverb. And you see that. So then the next thing we're going to do is group that. So they all have the same level. You don't have to hold down on the control to group them. As long as they're all highlighted, we're just going to do F. And now they're all grouped together. I'm going to move this down. We're going to do the same thing now with the delay. Once again, hold down on the control key, insert, send, delay. Now they all have delay, and we'll group this, G. And now they all have delay. So we can now listen to it, and I think we're pretty much set. Then you can hear the tail on that. Obviously, when you go to mix it, you'll want to tweak it, but this is a great way to get something started so when you're working on the song you've at least got tracks that aren't completely uh, bone dry and and have uh, volumes that are out of control you have a little bit more flexibility in working with it um, and it's almost mix ready so that makes it nice too so let's see if it's all working <laughs> There it is. Okay, so that's how you do groupings. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comments section. But uh, that's how you group. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.